Hey guys, Tim Cameron. My new buggy I built. Uh, it's kind of been a long build just to go around. You know, I did a few, did a few things different. You know, kind of stepped outside the box once again, which I don't really like to do. But I'm going to try a leading arm setup. You know, I've had trailing arm for I guess we're going on three years now, and uh, I've liked it. Just uh, it's been no four years, I believe, three or four years. But it's been a bit, you know it's been working well for me, and I figured I'd try to step out of the box and do something different with leading arm. I'm just going to see how well it does, but um, it's my new build here. Went big block again. Uh, my last buggy was small block. My last three have been small block, actually. Don't get me wrong, it's been phenomenal. I loved it. Um, a few times this past year, I caught myself downshifting and then going back to upshifting. It could be because the buggy's geared a little bit tall, but uh, I wanted to go back to something a little bit of grunt and cubic inch behind it to have for torque. Um, so we went all in on big block to be around about the same weight as my cast iron small block. Old trusty PTC power glide, SCS gearbox, high angle drive line, 4340 drive shafts, 1480 joints. Um, now, this company called Torque has produced this new product, all billet aluminum third member with their 4340 housing. Now this third member incorporates a two inch Dana 80 pinion, has a pinion support bearing like a 14 bolt, has two load bolts on the ring gear. Those three combined should be unbelievably strong. I mean when it comes down to gear deflection there should be none. Pretty much to have a failure, the bearing's going to go bad or it's going to literally have to peel the teeth all the way from the root off either the pinion or the ring gear. So I feel pretty confident about that product. You know, uh, Jim Jackson, he um, definitely put a lot of thought into that and it's a real nice setup. They only make it in 35 40 spline but he was able to customize me the spool which I got from Overson, sent to Torque. They customized it for their third member and so I'm able to run a 2 inch 47 spline shaft throughout the whole axle. So that was something cool and different. Um, trail Ready Wheels, they've been awesome to me. Stayed with them again, let's go around. Double bead lock, forged. Interco tires. <clears throat> Last year we went, uh, had a bunch of dirt climbs. So I got, I got my guy Interco, got a set of boggers, got them cut down, lightweight, crazy traction. And I'll run these in the dirt, and of course I still got my 43 sticky for, you know, dirt slash rock or all rock style hills. Um, PSC steering, uh, went back rear steer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all kind of messages. People are really excited about that and uh, I am too, you know, there's been a couple couple times this past year where I probably shouldn't have won an event. Um, there was guys there, it was 180 degree turns. There was guys there at the rear steer and just luckily I was able to pull it off. I guess pulled a rabbit out of my hat and got lucky, you know, but um. Went back rear steers, so that, that's that's something cool and different. Um, now, last year, I know some some guys had had some problems with breaking the upper arm off, shearing the bolts. You know, nothing nothing against the design or anything. Nothing. It's just upper arm hitting stuff crazy fast. Shear the bolts off. Well, this go around. I um, I went with Overson's lower and upper arm. I tied it together with a tie rod. Therefore, when I hit something on one side, you know, it's, in theory, when it jerks here, it's going to be jerking from both sides. So I'm hoping I'll be able to attack obstacles, you know, even harder and faster this year uh, than I have in the past with a little bit more comfort and, I guess, good feeling behind it. But that should eliminate that issue. Um, ISP seat, you know, there's a, a dirty turtle that they kind of made it mandatory at their park, but at the same time, I figured it'd be good to go ahead and step up and safety wise for myself. And you know, if I ever take a bad crash or whatever, at least it'll keep me keep me safe. And and you know, I've never had a head restraint. All I've ever had was Hans device, which still allows you to move a little bit. But at least by having this time head of strength for my helmet, it should be no movement at all, and if you think about it, 
it's like on Cable Hill, whenever this past year, um, we jumped up there and landed, I hit the kill switch. You know, if you watch that video in slow-mo, you know, I, my, my whole upper just, it just jars over. I think, I think it'll maybe a, be a faster driver if I have the head restraint to keep my head from moving in any whatsoever. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And really, other than leading arm, I mind the radiator behind the fuel tank to keep from heating the fuel. I've never really had a fuel boiling issue, but at the same time, I don't trail ride as long and stuff like I used to either. Now, it, it still ain't ever good to heat the fuel and whatnot, but so that's something I did different. Uh, pack, I went with their sway bar front and rear this time. Uh, Marty, he's been really great help. As you see right here, it's their DSR2. It, uh, it allows us to have a spring on the lower and the upper side of this piston here. And it gives you a tunable few inches of travel. Like when you're going across some real choppy stuff, it can be real squishy before it pushes all the energy into your tuned bar. Uh, that that that'd be something I'm gonna have to tune and play with. And uh, which is a whole new animal to me right here. It's it's a uh, it's a lot of motor, a lot of suspension travel, which I'm used to in the rear, but in the front I'm not used to having this amount of travel. So we're gonna have to tune it and play with it and play with it and tune it, which is time's coming down quick. You know, we um first race is February 17th. And uh, I got a lot of dialing in to do because competition has stepped up big. Uh, a lot of guys are, are running the, the same rig they ran for a couple years, so they're pretty much sitting on go right now, and I ain't even drove this thing yet. We've only got about three weeks to the first event, so I guess we better get off here. and Got a lot of tuning to do, and we'll see you all the first event.